Naruto and Sakura's relationship is toxic as f**k. While they didn't end up together, Naruto and Sakura being friends is already problematic in of itself. I deem their relationship toxic because of how their feelings for each other aren't compatible. It's stated earlier on in the show that Naruto had a crush on Sakura while Sakura had a crush on Sasuke. While Sakura is in no obligation to like Naruto, her feelings towards him don't justify her actions. Now here is something I will give credit for in the story, in that there are some scenes in the anime version that give off the impression that Sakura is more so an abuser towards Naruto, even though it's touted to be comic relief. While I never found that in of itself to be the main issue as to why people don't like how Sakura treats Naruto, I deem it understandable given that most people view the Naruto story through the anime, so people are going to attribute those scenes to her character traits. That said, when looking at the true source, that being the manga version, those moments are far few in between, so it wasn't in the author's intention to make it so that Sakura is perceived as this abuser of a person, so I'll give some credit in that she isn't that bad of a character. That said, that doesn't save her from being a bad character and friend in the first place. Sakura says some of the most disrespectful crap in the beginning beginning of the show. When talking to Sasuke about Naruto, Sakura brings up the fact that Naruto is an orphan with no one to guide him, and that being the reason why he acts like a troublemaker. She called Naruto an orphan to a f an orphan. She recognizes that this may be how Naruto feels and that she'll be a little nicer to him. Ninja. Literally in the next chapter, she said in the group 7 meeting that she dislikes Naruto. Again, she's not obligated to like him, but she could have said anything else when asked what she disliked. It also doesn't help that earlier on when Naruto was going to prank Akashi for being late, Sakura toted that it was a bit childish to do so, but her inner monologue showed that she actually enjoys this kind of thing. It could have been a good bonding moment for the two of them, but she neglected to do so for whatever reason, probably either to spite Naruto or to have Sasuke think better of her. And this isn't to say that Sakura doesn't care for Naruto going forward. In the written part of the tuning exams, Sakura was contemplating raising her hand instead of Naruto so that he doesn't fail on the last question which would have made him a genin for the remainder of his life. It was nice of Sakura to levy the burden off Naruto and put it on her. And during the force of death, she gave Naruto credit for fending off against Orochimaru while Sasuke was standing there doing nothing, saying at least Naruto had the guts to do something against Orochimaru. Now this gives credence to the fact that she ain't done anything at this point as well, but I digress. So there are glimpses of hope that Sakura is becoming more of a decent friend to Naruto, and if that was the arc Kishimoto was going for when creating the story, I wouldn't have minded everything that happened to this point, but it pretty much all goes downhill from here. Fast forward to the Sasuke retrieval arc, before Naruto and the gang left for the mission, Sakura gave the ultimate request to bring Sasuke back to the village. Now I'm sure Naruto was going to do that regardless, but having him double down for the sake of Sakura is going to leave an impact that may scar him for the future. In fact, it definitely has. Going over to the 5 Kage summon arc, the infamous scene of Sakura professing her love to Naruto occurs, and not only was this a fake confession, it harbors all the way back to the moment that she made Naruto promise to bring Sasuke back to the village. She thinks that Naruto was doing so solely only for her and that she has been the cause of his problems. While I won't say that she's the root cause, she definitely added to it. Not long after Naruto decimated her line of thinking of being quote unquote in love with Naruto, he gets relayed that Sasuke attacked the 5 Kage summit and proceeds to go into a panic attack. Again, I'm not saying Sakura was the sole reason as to why something like this happened, but she was a contributing factor. Now take this with a grain of salt since I'm pretty sure this scene wasn't in the manga, but there was a scene in the anime when the war arc was starting that she was asking who should she say first, either Naruto or Sasuke. This is stupid for a multitude of reasons. For one, Sasuke would be considered an enemy of the leaf at this point, so this shouldn't be questioned. Second, you literally had a result to kill him in the previous arc and you ended up getting folded at least twice. And third, Naruto has come to the rescue on a multitude of occasions, specifically in the pain arc where you screamed out for him to save the day, so why would he not be top priority? Better yet, why not call on Sasuke if you think he'd be an asset to the village? This scene in general makes no sense. The reason I don't knock her off fully for it is because I don't think this scene or anything similar is in the manga, so I'll partially let it slide. That said, I wouldn't put it past her character and her nature to do something like this. All in all, Sakura is just a terrible friend to Naruto. There are glimmers of hope for Sakura to act accordingly to Naruto, but even with the stuff I mentioned that would go in her favor, it's technically from afar since Naruto doesn't know she is inadvertently giving him praise. Most of their interactions are with Sasuke, and Naruto sees that her actions revolve around that fact. It's unfortunate that that's the case, since I feel like if Sakura was better written, she could have been used as the vessel for the village where once Sakura gets to know Naruto, she can have a better opinion towards him and treat him better because of it. However, that definitely wasn't the case, making this an overall toxic relationship. So what about you guys? Do you think the relationship between Naruto and Sakura is plausible? If so, what arguments could be made in their favor of them not being in a toxic relationship? I'd love to get your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on how the relationship between Naruto and Hinata is toxic as well. Until next time, I'm the Curly Haired Okage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.